Today's hot tip is on how to identify the left renal artery with the patient in a decubitus position. I have our patient model lying. She has her left side up toward me. I know that is referred to different ways by different folks, so I'll simply describe her positioning that way for now. I'm looking for a window where I can see the kidney and the aorta, so I'm going to ask our model, take in a deep breath and hold it for me. Okay, that's going to expand the, the ribs, allow me to get a bit of a shadow. The aorta is deep to my scan, and then the kidney. So I want to be able to locate the renal artery and connect to the renal artery to the aorta. So I'm going to go into color at this point and take a look at the transverse image of the kidney. And so from a transverse image of the kidney, my goal is going to be to image the kidney in a position where I can see the pelvis of the kidney and then open the pelvis and connect the renal artery to the aorta. So I'm going to ask the model to take in a deep breath for me, and we're going to bring that renal artery down to the aorta. And here we can see the renal artery and the vein. And if you think in terms of a clock, with 12 o'clock at the top of the screen, 6 o'clock at the bottom of the screen, I'm literally opening the pelvis of the kidney at about 6 o'clock. In that case, the renal artery, as you see here, should come straight down and connect with the aorta. Now, if that is a position that doesn't work, I can rotate the probe a little more so that now we're going to bring the renal artery out of the renal hilum at closer to 7 o'clock position. Now that means that the renal artery is going to curve just slightly in most patients toward the spleen. It takes a slight S-shaped curve in the mid-segment, and I'm fanning in and out of the kidney uh, in hopes that you can see that little bit of a curvature. So take in just a little breath. Okay, there we go and we can see the path of that renal artery, and the cursor is right now on the point where we have that subtle curve. Now, if that position doesn't work because we have rib shadows, I'm going to rotate the probe 90 degrees the other way. So now the hilum of the kidney is opening out uh, with the position being now at about 5 o'clock. So at this position now, if we bring that renal artery down to the aorta, take in a deep breath for me, okay, and let it out. Now we can see that the slight curvature is toward her feet, away from the spleen and down toward her feet. So this is helpful if you don't see the full length of the renal artery. You can even follow the renal artery uh, based on the Doppler signal simply by tracking with Doppler along the course. So to sum up, transverse image of the kidney, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 7 o'clock describe the positions where the pelvis of the kidney should open to connect the renal artery to the aorta. Now that's your hot tip for the day. Now you give it a try.